Hello everybody, welcome back to Attention Deficit Gaming. Playing Very Skelter 2, and there is already a nightmare on the prowl. Does that sound like fun? Okay, sure, let's give this thing a try. If I run into the nightmare, it'll be very easy to run away from it. tissue. Kind of hard to tell with how it just keeps swinging those limbs around. Their key cards for Rapunzel's How's dungeon. Not an ambush. Whatever will I do? One. 
Actually, what's with that beeping sound I keep hearing every now and then? find a way to stop the flow to move onward. No kidding! I think I might know. Here I go. Huh! So it becomes a door. Okay. You'd think it'd just be a solid sheet of ice, but apparently not. enemies are. Quite sure how popping a red balloon causes an explosion. Let's begin. Maybe it's because go. it's red. Here I go. I can't have that back any longer. <laughs> Okay, that laughing is a bit creepy. I can't wait. This will hurt a lot. Let's do this. <laughs> Gretel, you're scaring me. Stop it. Complete victory. Finding this thing pretty quickly, don't I? Alright, guess I'll have to hit hit an A. 
I guess that's another difference between this game and Etrian Odyssey. See, in Etrian Odyssey, the FOEs, the freaking overpowered enemies, they will only move if you do. Okay, that's not that's not necessarily the case, but generally speaking, that is. Uh, there's with Etrian Odyssey, there's turns. Now that could be a round of combat. It could be a step you take on the map. Either way, it's a turn. With... There you go. With Etrian Odyssey... FOEs will only move. And you know, FOE actually is short for something. In the original Japanese, it's... The rather uninspired pun of field on enemy. In English, it's some weird Latin sounding stuff. Formidus Optimus Execrins or something like that? I probably butchered it. Whoops. I'm not done yet. Indeed, she did crush him. Oh, thank goodness we won. Finally, stopped. There we go. Hey, so as I was saying, with FOEs, Them, every time you take a step on the map or a path or a turn of combat would go would go by, they would move. I mean, either one would do it. There would be a few that they'd only move during combat. Remember in uh I played the remake of the first one. Admittedly I didn't even know about them until until he had the 3DS and because of how obscure they were, they're Pretty, oh good, pretty tough to find the DS copies, and of those three, two got remade anyway. Are you ready? Let's go. Third one got remade though. Wow. Here I go. And with the third stratum of the first yet. game, there's an FOE that would only show up during combat. Here I go. Or rather, as you're moving around on the map, you would just kind of go into these right? rivers and be around on the floor. Go. And you'd be able to see it only if you actually looked around, looked around, I mean, like basically looked around at the game. Reset the proper item. What is this? I was created to only tell and the truth. Like we're a the setting the is war correct. Came from. The area is getting white. Uh oh. Which means that there's a nightmare nearby. L look. Uh oh. Two of them? By the way, initially I thought there was like steel pistons for teeth. Those are actually pistols. I guess you mean that this thing is literally armed to the teeth. Hairball monster. That nightmare. Do you know it? It's the nightmare that destroyed our former base, Dawn. Here. There's no way we want to get mixed up in their fight. 
exactly what to do. If we want to assist, you know, if we were to assist, it would be in that hairy creature. But a true monster versus monster battle. It looks as if the hairy monster is at a disadvantage. There's no way we can beat the nightmare now, so we need to be ready to run at any moment. Shoot! It noticed us. That nightmare is looking at us. Everyone, if it comes our way, we're going to run. Got it? What the? It ran away? Oh, that was a close call. All is well as long as we're safe. Why did that nightmare run off like that? And what's with the emotions coming from it? I sensed it being surprised and sad? Say, Otsu, what do you plan on doing with that hairy monster? Oh, um... Well, uh, I'll well see what it does first. Don't come. It can talk. Could it be human? I suppose that could explain why it has so much hair. Anybody got a chocolate bar? It's trying to keep us back. What to do? Come now, there's nothing to be afraid of. Do you want some candy? Huh. huh? I guess I called it. Don't worry. We won't hurt you. It actually ate it. <gasps> so tasty! Oh, that's a good hairball. Controlled? Simply amazing. What's your name? Rapunzel. Okay, so Rappy then. Where did you come from, Rappy? Nowhere. Me here. So she eh. wandered around this area all by herself. To add, she tried to fight that nightmare by herself. Otsu, you don't suppose she's a blood maiden, do you? That's what I thought, too. No, that has to be it. Princess, do you mind splashing her with a bit of this marching blood? Understood, Otsu. Candy, so tasty! Isn't it? That proves it. Rapunzel is a blood maiden. Okay, well, Rappy. How about you come with us? Huh? Leave? She doesn't seem to understand what you just said. Hmm, what to do? You... <laughs> you look like fish! Look tasty! No. Bad puzzle. Despite the reason, it seems like she's attracted to her. And it also looks like she'll follow us now. Let's get going. Fish. Um, okay. Well, Rappy, let's... Wait, you're naked! Hmm? What? There's no way we can have her around naked. We should head back. Okay. In that case, let's head back! So it looks like you were able to find a blood baby quite easily. Lucky you! Moose so on a roll and makes you want to shout! I'm happy that a new member joins Hamlet's, joins Hamlet's heroic party! I hate to dampen things, but it isn't all good news. We met that nightmare. Remember how Hamlet destroyed the dog? Yes. I see. Ran off to that area, eh? Some clothes I had on hand on Rappy. Oh, this looks cute, quite cute in that. Indeed! Not the same as before! She 
She looks so good, so good and sweet that I almost want to eat her. Oh, so many people. Aw, she's adorable. Ah, fishy. That looks good on you, Robbie. <laughs> Thanks. Say, Rapunzel, do you mind I ask you about that nightmare you fought back there? You know that boss you were fighting? Huh? That thing! They came by and made plenty of problems! Yes, that one. What happened? Um, more bad problem was the... was with other one. Huh? Other one? Is she talking about the nightmare? I mean, the monster that's stationed? Oh, that's stationed there? Yep, yeah, monster! That monster is so strong, her puzzle was always in danger! The monster was killing everything so bad! I see, it must have been tough. Well, you're fine with us now. I see, that sounds just like what happened with Don. Hmm, killing everything in sight. Since nightmares are connected within the area's core, I doubt it can wander outside of its locale. Right, the core makes the nightmare impossible, impossible to kill. Yeah, so that nightmare can move between areas. Oh, it's intriguing. Maybe it just has a bigger core. Or maybe it has multiple, maybe it has multiple cores. I mean, there's multi-core processors. Maybe the nightmares can have the same kind of thing. That'd be interesting. You don't suppose that nightmare is Snark? Snark? What the hell is that? Called the King of Nightmares. It's the strongest. Eh, it's the strongest of all the nightmares around. Strongest? Are you saying that it's stronger than me? At the very least, we have no chance against it in our current state. I recall hearing about this snark creature from before. It was the very one that killed the founding members of Dawn. Yes, I heard it was very. I heard it was strong and equally vicious and merciless. The only one who survived the attack was the Professor. He's currently lost too. Wait. What if this mysterious nightmare is the professor? No, oh, wait, I don't have a beard to stroke. That sounds just like what happened ba back there at the Dawn place. At the very least, I can deduce that the nightmare holds tremendous power. It's roaming around freely. Isn't that dangerous? Don't worry, I'll be sure to protect our place here. So, I doubt we stand much chance with our current defenses. Wouldn't Hansel be able to help out? Great work, Brainiac. Way to dampen the mood. But, humans are always at a disadvantage here, so we have to at least stay strong in our heart. So, if anything, so if anything now is the time to light to live up the mood, you hear? Okay, how about we get get a bit more info from Robbie on who she is? Oh, that sounds like a good, that sounds good. I wouldn't mind getting to know her better. What? Where were you born, Rappi? Uh, don't know, I was there! Oh, um, okay. Okay, then what kind of things did you eat out there? What? Eat? Mm, that! What do you mean by that? Wall! Wall? Uh, wall? You mean the jail's wall? <laughs> It's edible? <laughs> you were eating that too? Margin too! So tasty! What? I see. I never dawned on me. Oh, I see. I never dawned on me. Um, that doesn't need to dawn on you. Well, to be fair, I know the jail's walls of marching blood was sweet, but you shouldn't eat them. <laughs> so high! Life danger. Oh, <laughs> Rapunzel, get off of Jack. <laughs> I can like you this place! Oh well, at least Jack doesn't seem to mind at all. Who looted my kawaii loli? Who looted my freaking kawaii loli?
I'm watching you, dev team. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, did I just hear her right? <laughs> oh, man. I hope she's trying to say something else. Yeah, one would hope that. I guess I can ask her about that another time. Say, so, Utsu, are you planning on bringing the puzzle along on the next daddy? Well, it would feel terrible dragging such a young child to the dangers outside. But she was able to fight a nightmare by herself. She could prove really helpful. I suppose. It's not like we have the luxury anyway. Alright, let's bring her with us, and welcome to the party, Rapunzel. Yep, we get along! Rapunzel uses Hair Flare. This lets you reach items five squares in the direction you're facing. Use it to open treasure chests you can't reach, activate things, or what or when you need to grab onto things. I don't figure it'd be called it didn't being called hair stare, but whatever. Come on! Why is it so unresponsive? I know I sort of think hmm, what sort of guess would be given to Rapunzel. When I have any. Yay! Come in! <laughs> okay, makes sense. Wait. Probably gonna have to eat Cripper with some stuff. Why is it showing a sword instead of a hammer there? No, because that's what it's sure my fault. Never mind! useful. Increases corruption rate! <laughs> no. I don't care how good its stats are, I'm not using something like that. Yeah, there you go. Tunic Amnesty. Doesn't seem very cursed. the reduction to all those stats is supposed to make up and it's supposed to compensate for its very high attack stat. That'll be it for the for the video there. So as always, folks, do not stop being awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, bye bye.